Uh -huh. Let's go down to verse uh, 19. Right. He says, and when we departed from Horeb, uh -huh. uh, see, for he, he going back in his mind, and this, it's called meditation. Right. He's going back seeing where God brought him from. And, and, and you see, you have to be able to accept and embrace the dark side. Uh -huh. You see, see, when church folks, Sister Phyllis, they always like to talk about uh, on the mountaintop. That's when we don't have to test the line, sir. Thank you, Jesus. When they just get up and lie, you ain't going to tell the truth for nothing. Uh-huh. So, so he says, and when we departed from Horeb, uh -huh. let's talk about my failures. Uh-huh. My dark side. When I messed up. Uh, let's talk about it. I don't have to hide it no more. You see, you see, <clears throat> when, when, when you have overcome, you don't mind talking about it. You see, you still in it, the reason you don't want nobody to bring it up. Uh huh. Uh huh. We was at a dinner yesterday, and I was talking to the guy, and the lady said, Do you know him? That's Pastor Bland, right here. Y'all know she said, Vandal Bland. You know Vandal Bland? Do you know him? She said, Yeah, oh, yeah I know Vandal Bland. Uh, he got a baby by uh, somebody that's in my family, a daughter or something. Said, oh, ain't, ain't got no he told it for the truth. He told it just like it was just like it happened. He was there when he was conceived and everything. And everything that Lady Deborah fair wasn't too far away. I said, come here, baby, come here. Listen to this right here. I got a daughter around here somewhere. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he told it like it was the truth. Gave a woman name and everything. He says. When we departed from Horeb, we went through. I'm ready now. I had to go through it. I had to go through what I went through. And if you can't stand to hear my story, then you need to walk away from me, baby. Because my story is what made me. And he said, we went through when we left Horeb. Horeb was the place where that we were supposed to be going into our blessing. We were supposed to be a success. We were supposed to have a ministry. We were supposed to be this and that. But, but, but when we left, Horeb said, because we didn't believe God and we got discouraged in our heart. We went through the great and terrible wilderness. Which he saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites as the Lord commanded. We came to Kadesh Barnea. Mm -hmm. Let's go to verse 22. All right. And you came near to me, every one of you, and said, We will send men before us. Mm -hmm. now, now, what you got to send somebody for? God just spoke. Well, what you got to send somebody in order to check God out? Do God know what he has said? All right. uh -huh. yeah, but we stand there at Kadesh Barnea. Only 11 days journey, getting ready to walk into my new job, getting ready to walk into my anointing, getting ready to walk into a better family, getting ready to walk into everything, but I don't have nothing to show. My house is torn up. I don't qualify for the job. I'm, I just got out of bankruptcy. But God says, I have gone before you. You're not going to have to fight in it all. I've already done this for you. They, the men said, let's go. Let's go in and search. But look what they said. We, I'm in verse 22. You with me? We will send men before us and they shall search us out the land and bring us word again. Now look how the devil worked. Not, not word as to whether or not we can take the land. But look what the devil takes. See, the devil ain't, you, you're not going over there to, you know, you're just going over there to speak. He says, and bring us word again by what way we must go up. It ain't but one way. That's God's way. You ain't got to figure out how it's going to happen. All you got to do is start stepping. All you got to do is start walking. He's already made a way for you because it's not you, it's him. But we need to send somebody so we can figure out which way we must go. How are we going to do this thing? That was their mistake. If they had left Kadesh Barnabas just on God's word, Andre, and walked on into the land, they wouldn't have had to suffer for 38 years. But they had to go through it. Because all of those other folks, Mother Bracey, all those other folks had to die. All 
them other folks. Because, see, they had too many folk with them. Yeah. And them folks had to die. Because once they got into the land, they would have steadily been uh, just, just egging at them and, and doubting. And what are all the doubters, all those folks had to die. And the saying, please, remember verse 23, and I took 12 men of you in one tribe. Go down to verse 25. I got a long way to go and not long to get there. It says, and they took of the fruit of the land of their hands and brought it down unto us and brought us word again and said, it is a good thing yes, which the Lord our God does give us. Notwithstanding, you would not go up but rebelled against the commandments of the Lord. Uh, stay right there, but turn over to Hebrews, the fourth chapter, I believe. Turn over to Hebrews, the fourth chapter. I'm ready now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever come back at you and it was a different story? Right. <laughs> okay, man. Oh, you think it's going to be like it was last time. It's different now, baby. It's different now. thing about being over here, but now so you, you kind of isolate me everything. I got so I kind of love it. I cherish it. Amen. I cherish the isolation because I don't have to put up with much foolishness. Yeah. Uh, I'm not spending time with folks that don't really care about me. Yeah. You, know, you know that you can spend a lot of time with people that don't really even care? Amen. Do you know how I decide who's going to be in my inner circle? It's not your color. It's not uh, uh, your, 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 um, uh, your economic status. Not the car you drive. The way I decide who is in my inner circle is I try to ascertain as best I can is that if this person got the news that Vander Bland died, how would it affect them? Yeah. I know that's Yeah. Now, most folks, you know, for real, what would we need? <laughs> no. But there's a few folks. Yeah. That'll never be the same. Yeah. Yeah. My granddad had been dead since 1980. Ain't many days that passed by. I don't think about that. Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Them the folks I'm trying to get in my inner circle. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I told you, I was trying to figure out what matters. Figure out 